how to work with proxies while editing 4K footage in Premiere Pro? Check this out. Hi, this is Alex from Massive, the fastest way to deliver your large media files online. When you sign up with Massive, we'll give you 100 gigabytes free to send all your files anywhere you want. I'll leave you the link in the description box below so you can check it out. All right. So if you're watching this video, I assume that your computer is freezing up while trying to work in Premiere Pro, isn't it? Why is this happening? When working with large files, say 4, 6, or 8K footage, you might see a lot of playback issues in Premiere Pro. This is because your computer's processor is not powerful enough to ready and stream all that heavy data. Where codecs that the software doesn't read natively can also cause playback issues and headaches. For these situations, it's better to create proxies so the software can play the videos smoothly and you can speed up your work. Proxies are just a low-res version of your high-res footage, and Premiere makes it very easy to create and work with proxies to reduce the strain in your computer. Best of all, once you export, the video will export in the original resolution. Here's how. If you have your footage imported already to your project, you just have to select them, right-click and select proxy. Here, click Create Proxies. In this new window, you can select the format, H.264 or QuickTime. I'm going to use QuickTime. Then in presets, select the one that works best for you. I'm on a Mac, so ProRes will be best. I can choose from low, medium, and high resolution proxy. Let's choose low for now. Below, you can choose the destination of your proxies. We will leave them with the selected options so they can stay next to the original media in a new folder. Click OK, and the media encoder will open up and start rendering the proxies immediately. In Premiere, the proxy will be linked automatically. If you want to verify, right-click on this top bar from the project window. Select Metadata Display. In this new window, open the first option of Premiere Pro Project Metadata and check the proxy. Now, when you scroll to the end of the Metadata Info, Proxy Category has been added and says Attached on the clips that have their proxies linked. In the timeline, if we scroll through the video, it is still lagging as it is still being played at the original format at 4K. In the program window, on the right bottom corner, let's click on the plus sign. We're going to add the toggle proxies button to the rest of the buttons bar, here below. Just drag it next to the last one. Okay, click on it, and when we scroll through the footage this time, it is a smoothly playing everything. Beautiful, that's what we want. Some cameras let you create proxies directly in camera when you record. If your camera can do this, try it out. It can save you some rendering time later. To link proxies that are already created, right-click on your footage, select Proxies, then Attach Proxies. Here, you can click in Attach and locate your proxy files. If you have multiple consecutive files and the proxies don't link automatically after doing the first one, here, in the bottom left corner of the window, in Match File Properties, uncheck File Name and check Media Start. Now, when you connect one, the rest of the footage will link automatically. If you want to create a custom preset so your proxies can have a specific format that is not available in this window at the moment, we need to go to Media Encoder. On the bottom left window, click on the plus sign, then create an encoding preset. Here, select the format that you want. Leave checked the export video and audio, and below, choose your video codec. On the width and height, remember to lower the size. We will leave it at 720p. Other formats will give you other options to modify to lower the size of your files. For example, if I choose 8.264, you can lower the bitrate to the minimum so the footage is lighter. It will look very low quality, but these are just proxies and we just need them to edit. If you want to add a watermark so you can know when you're looking at the proxies, go to the Effects tab and check Image Overlay. Choose your image and below you can adjust position, size and opacity. To finish, name your preset. You can put the settings in the name so it's easier to remember what is what. You will find your preset in User Presets and Groups. Okay, now let's go back to the plus sign, but this time we will create an ingest preset. This kind of preset is what Premiere will be able to read. We will name this the same as the other one that we did, but with ingest at the end. Then we're going to check transcode files to destination. Select wherever you want. We're going to choose the real destination in Premiere to stay next to the original files. Below, we will select the format we used before, and in preset, the preset we did before. All right, click OK. Right click on this new ingest preset, and we're going to reveal the preset file to see where it is at. I will move it to a location easily accessible now. 
Back in Premiere, on the Create Proxies window, click on Add Ingest Preset. Here, locate the Ingest Preset we created, and there you go. You can export your proxies with that preset. Then you can export directly your video without having to reconnect the high-res files. When you export it, Premiere will automatically just export the originals. When you finish your video, use Massive to send it for reviews or final deliveries to anyone, anywhere in the world. This is the fastest and most secure way to deliver your raw or high-res footage to your collaborators. Remember to go in the description box below so you can sign up with Massive to get your 100 gigabytes free. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more filmmaking tricks, please click that like and subscribe button and toggle the little bell icon. I'll leave you now with this video over here for you to enjoy. See you next time. Bye!